five for Proctor, but Northamptonshire wobble. Gloucestershire had a difficult second day in Bristol. Northamptonshire pressed home their advantage after Rossington and Goldstone helped the visitors to reach 327. The hosts slumped to 90 for six when it was their turn with the bat. Still 249 behind and in need of a third day fight back. Gloucestershire found 100 at the resumption, but it wouldn't be long before Northamptonshire found another wicket. Zafar Gohar out LBW to Proctor for seven. Van Buren struck up a solid partnership with new bat Tom Price, and they ticked the deficit down below 200 runs. The target to avoid the follow-on, now tantalisingly close. But Price fell to Kerrigan, an ill-advised leave allowing him free reign to clatter the stumps and send him back with 16 off 54. Van Buren was looking like Gloucestershire's main route of resistance, and his batting came with the reward of a 50, patiently scored of 121 deliveries. His knock came to an end at the hands of Kerrigan too, LBW for 56, just one more wicket needed for Northamptonshire, with their host still shy of the target to avoid that follow-on. Survival through to lunch was the goal though, and it was achieved. The score 167 for 9 at the break, Gloucestershire trailing by 160. But Northamptonshire were made to toil by the 10th wicket partnership, Warner and Taylor resisting the probing bowling and holding firm. The deficit moved below 150, and the hosts could breathe a sigh of relief. The wicket Northamptonshire needed came soon after, a deserved fifth for Proctor. Warner caught in the slips for 10. It had been a top effort from the Northamptonshire bowlers led by Proctor with 5 for 42. There had been a small victory for Gloucestershire in taking the follow-on out of Rossington's hands, but they still trailed by 136. Northamptonshire were back out there with Gay and Vasconcelos at the crease, and the confidence showed at the back end of the Gloucestershire innings continued with the ball, Gay unable to get off the mark, playing on to Price. Proctor couldn't follow his fifer with a decent knock, out for nine, LBW to Higgins. And there'd be more to worry the visitors. Keogh fell before T, out LBW to Price, and they were leaving the door open for Gloucestershire. The safe haven of the break was found with the score 34 for three, the lead up to 170, but they'd given the hosts some belief. Vasconcelos and Zybe tried to inject some energy into the innings, but Gloucestershire struck again. The dangerous opener, bowled by Taylor, who showed just what it meant to him. Zybe then followed in the next over, caught behind off Warner. It was tough going for Northamptonshire, and it wouldn't be long before they were six down. Goldstone stumps left in a mess by Higgins, bowled for seven. Rossington then had to go two, the captain out for 18, and the score still below 100. The visitors were taken out of the firing line by the umpires. The lights deemed too dim to continue. But despite their difficulties with the bat, they'd still finished the day with a lead of 228. A few more on day three, and they could be back on track, and perhaps even try and go for the win.